guys and welcome back to Author Journey. My name is CJ Anaya. Today we're going to go over BookBub ads and designs and how you can avoid making mistakes. So BookBub just shot this out in an email. Some of you may have received it. If you didn't, I wanted to draw your attention to it. I had been considering doing a tutorial on BookBub ad design, but once this came out, I was just like, oh, well, they just basically covered everything that I wanted to cover and did a very good job and then gave examples. So I'm just gonna direct you to this so that you can look this up and, and refer to it over and over again. I'm just gonna quickly go over what they have over here. So one mistake is that your ad design is too busy. They give you a great example of that. Can you see how that's just too much and you can't see it very well and you don't know what to look at or what to focus on or where to click? So they give you, what's great about this is they give you an example of what not to do right here. And then they show you a better way of doing it right through here. So it's not too busy. It looks pretty good on all of them. Very professional. Let's move to the next one. You're trying to say too much in too little space. So can you see all of this? You're just basic. <laughs> it's really hard for authors who have written these long novels to just make it very succinct. I know it's hard to tell, you know, what your story is about in one to two sentences, but that literally is what you need to do. <laughs> You've got to break it down and just give us the crux of the issue. Who the person is and what the conflict is. That's all you need to put in there. Who the person is, what the conflict is, you know, what what do they have to lose? And that's it. So, or, you know, some kind of ringing endorsement. So you can see here, there's not even hardly any words. It's just amazing, obsessed, five stars, glowing endorsements right there. They've also put free ebook. This one is if you love the girl on the train, you'll be hooked on the woman next door. So that's one way to do it is to to compare your book to another very very popular book within your genre that everybody can recognize. This is is what I was referring to before. He loves, and I don't even know what it says there, he loves control, she craves freedom, he should leave her alone. He won't. So that's very captivating right there. It's letting you know that he's very interested in her, what she's like, what she wants. He's not going to leave her alone. You look at that and go, oh man, I really want to really want to take a look at that and they've got the book cover right here your font is too hard to read so you, do you see how difficult that is some folks really will do this not a great idea so make sure that your font looks awesome sauce like this okay a lot of different options for you there again I'm gonna leave this link up here in the description box so you can just go right to this uh, right to this article that bookbub offered they, they offer such great stuff, really, really great free tutorials on how you can optimize your ads. So please take a look at this. Your book's genre isn't obvious. When you look at this, do you have any idea whether this is a mystery, whether this is a romance, whether this is a memoir? Like you just really have no idea. Perfect for anyone who likes to read books. <laughs> ah, that's funny. So don't make it so general. Nobody's gonna know what this book is about and nobody's gonna click on it. So from here, you can tell, like, this is going to be kind of a, a thriller, it looks to me. You know, the devil's noose, medical thriller, oh, cool. Bittersweet, grumpy alpha needs love too. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we have an idea, wrong age, wrong gender, right job. We get an idea of what these books, what, what genre these books are written in. And a lot of people are either going to click on a mystery thriller or medical thriller because they love that or they're going to skip it because they don't. So make sure that you're targeting the right audience with your ads. Your ad image doesn't align with your target audience. We just talked about that. So with BookBub ads targeting capabilities, you can be very deliberate with the audience you'll reach. This is a powerful and incredibly useful tool for promoting to unique groups of readers, such as fans of a specific author. But it's important to remember that even within the same genre or subgenre, readers can have different tastes and interests, okay? So, go on a rip-roaring adventure complete with blazing sensuality in this exciting new Regency series. So this is important because it's not, you're not just offering up a romance, you're offering up a Regency romance, okay? Fans of Mercy Thompson will love Sasha Urban. So this looks kind of like urban fantasy, the girl who sees, but you can tell what kind of fantasy you're dealing with. It looks like a little, like witchcraft could be a part of it, okay? And then Vampire's Faith. So this kind of looks like a dark, 
possibly romantic series, but it looks very dark in nature. It's not going to be some frou-frou romance, okay? So just make sure that you're targeting the right readers within the specific subgenres and the specific audiences or, or authors. See, they put the author in there. So, and then they go into a lot more detail with each one of these as to what you can do and how you can make it work. And then they give you all these great examples. So just to give you an example of what I've done, and I think I've shown you some things before, this, this is something that I've done to be fun. I took their, their examples and I gave it lots of color. I was very clear with the cover. And then this says a reincarnated princess with healing powers, three warring gods who want to claim her for themselves. Grab this romantic action-packed fantasy today. So it's very specific to the genre, what it's about. A warrior prince who must kill his fated mate, a snarky teen who should be queen. Grab this romantic action-packed fantasy today. So it's within the same genre, but you're getting to know who the players are really quickly. And it's not too cluttered. You see the buy button right there. They know that it's in Kindle Unlimited. So if they don't want to buy it, but they have a Kindle Unlimited and they want to borrow it, then they're more inclined to grab the book or to grab the box set, knowing that it's all enrolled in Kindle Unlimited. And then I did the same thing with Marry Your Billionaire. A desperate billionaire needs to reboot his image. A struggling college student needs her trust fund back. A reality TV romance may be their only option. So it's not too much. It's very succinct. We know who the players are. As far as advertising went, I decided to go the way of the blurb, very, very short, rather than saying, if you like this book, you'll like this book. And, you know, the other ways that they showed you how to do that. So these are your options there. So make sure that you come to this article, that you really study the different designs. You can learn a lot just from looking at the different examples they've given you. Really kind of mix it up a bit. Do some, some split testing and see what works. And that is it for now. We will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.